Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be making a Cornish pasty, a traditional Cornish pasty. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I hope you enjoy the video. And if you do like it, do give it that thumbs up and tell your friends about it and share it on social media. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge. And if you hit that notification bell, it will just give you that gentle reminder to when the videos come out so you don't miss any. And of course, I'd love to hear your comments. Just even just a quick hello um, and I'll get back to you. Right, so enjoy the video. Okay, so into a food processor, you just add your flour. And you want your butter fairly cold so add little squares of butter into here this has gone a bit soft because it's so hot today but ideally you want it fairly cold then put your lid of your food processor on and just give this a quick blast and then as you can see you'll get this crumbly texture you can do this by hand if you don't have a food processor and i'll give you a link below to show you a video where I showed you how to do it by hand. Now, as we turn this back on, we're going to pour the water slowly until this all starts coming together. So as you can see, it starts to come together and if you just squash it in your hand, it should just come to a nice dough. We'll just take the blade out. We'll take this out of the food processor. I love food processors. They do make the job a lot easier. So you just gather this up into a nice bowl. You want it firm enough to gather together, but you don't want it too wet. Otherwise your, your pastry isn't as nice if you get it too wet. But you want it wet enough that it does come together. And then just gather it up into that bowl and you can kind of roll it around to pick up the the bits on your worktop and then you just get some cling film wrap your pastry in that cling film yeah so you leave that in the fridge for about half an hour to an hour okay so we want to cut our meat up nice and small little tiny cubes of meat so you kind of want them this size and we're going to put that into the Cornish pasty. Now it does seem a bit strange because you're just going to put the meat in with no gravy and everything but the juice from this meat is what gives you the flavour and you don't actually need any juice or, or gravy or sauce or anything. That's what's how they do a traditional Cornish pasty and although the meat you're putting in raw it will be cooked. You don't have to worry about cooking it beforehand before you put it in the pastry. So here you can see we have the minced beef cut up nice and small and if you wanted to you can ask your local butcher to mince that for you if you didn't want to cut it up small yourself. And here we've cut up some diced sweet and I've got 150 grams of this diced sweet and I've got 300 grams of the steak. Right so we're just going to chop our onion from this end to the root end then peel it and of course as usual make sure your tea towel is underneath your chopping board to stop it slipping chop off that end cut along here not going right to the end and chop down like that this way you don't get watery eyes or sore eyes if you keep that root end intact That's what makes your eyes water. Now you want about 150 grams or one large onion. So you want to just sprinkle some flour onto your worktop. Because I'm not going to prepare cutting the potatoes up yet because they can go black. So I'll do them at the last minute. So we've done our sweet mince and onions and now we're just going to roll out our pastry. Make sure you put some on the top of your rolling pin and a little bit on top of your pastry so it doesn't stick. Right, so we'll just roll out our pastry, just a gentle push down, not too hard. Let the rolling pin do the work. Just keep turning it and roll it out to the thickness that you want. 
I love homemade pastry. Really is so simple. And the flavour of short crust pastry made at home is delicious. So when you think it's big enough, just double check by putting your dish over. And then you just get a sharp knife. And you just go around the edge. And then you remove any excess pastry. And you can gather up the other stuff and use that for later. And then you simply lift that off. Let's put this to one side. And we'll do another piece. Now, that one, I used 260 grams of pastry dough. And I had that much left over. So that's a good amount to work with to make one pasty. Or you can use a cake tin to use to cut out. So if you use a cake tin, of course you can just push down and make your circle. So as you can see, we have everything here. We have some pastry circles cut out, our potatoes, our beef, our onions, and our swede. So we just get a large bowl and put all the ingredients in. And we just season with some salt and pepper. So get a couple of big spoons and just give this a really good mix around. Or you can just get stuck in, which is probably the easiest way to do it, and just get your hands in there and really make sure it's mixed well. So as you can see, this is all mixed well together. And this is the best way to just get your fingers in there and just squeeze it all together is the best way so this is what you want ready to put into your pastry circles right we want to get two scoops of your mixture and put it to one side of your circle then you want to go around the outside with either milk or egg or water whichever you prefer i personally use the milk just something that will help seal this so you want that all around the edge all right so we just Close this over and just seal it. Just push it down with your fingers. Now you can just get a fork and just press it down all along like that. And that would give you a little pattern and it would seal it. But if you wanted to try crimping, I'm actually not very good at crimping, but I'll show you anyway. And you bring this towards the pastry and push it down. And then you bring another bit towards you and push it down. So you're getting this crimping effect. So you just keep pushing it over and then you get this little pattern. So as you can see, I just put a fork around the edge of these ones, but on this one, I've got the crimping effect. It's not easy, but you'll have fun practicing with it. And just put a couple of holes, two or three holes at the top with a knife. Okay, so you just want to get some egg. Pastry brush is perfect, but I don't actually have one, I just realized. So I'm just gonna do this with my finger and just glaze the pastry with the egg. This gives the pastry a beautiful color when it's cooked. And don't worry if you've got a few holes in your pastry, it's not the end of the world. Make sure you get around the back there as well. So you just pick up your pasty and place it on a baking tray and then just put it in the oven. And I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Right, so as you can see, this looks really nice. So I'm just gonna cut one open. And look at that, you've got the lovely meat, potatoes, sweet and onions in lovely homemade short crust pastry. Perfect.
Well, thank you for watching today's video on how to do a Cornish pasty. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to doing another video for you for next week. Bye for now.